Hi everyone, so we'll be talking a bit about 3D scanning on the new iPad Pro 2020 in this short um, tutorial. So as you can see, I have loaded up a file which I went to the park recently to do some scanning. And it's alright, you know, it doesn't really take to like organic geometry very well, all the plants are missing, but you can see pretty much preserve most of the details on hard surface objects fairly okay and I think it makes a pretty good basis on like um, how your environment can be if you just don't want to model the, the item and this one over here is um, from Brass Basa Complex and yeah it retains most of the space pretty okay but reflective surfaces aren't exactly the strong point of this app so over here you see me just um, running through another model which I scanned which is um, kind of like a letterbox area at our flats and the basic controls for it um, are actually really really rudimentary like scale, transform, rotate and you just kind of just save the model most of the major formats are supported and you can just like set the zip option over there and just use your cloud service to transfer it to your PC. So over here in Blender you see like it actually um, has this geometry created pretty okay and it's mostly triangulated which is the unfortunate thing but when you add in the texture, I think I believe it's p-text or something, um, back to the model, it actually looks okay. Um, but of course most of the colors have been picked in so I don't think you get like that much control over like how you want your surfaces to look that's the unfortunate thing but the good thing is you're able to change uh, the major stuff like the lighting and the mood as you can see over here once I move the light it, the geometry actually reacts to, to where it is placed and I, I think most people can actually like get pretty interesting results from, from this already by itself. So um, as a side note, I feel most of the meshes scanned from this app are relatively usable if you are just using it from like I guess mid-ground to background objects but if you are using it for like maybe foreground stuff um, or st stuff that's really really close to the camera then I suggest maybe you might need to just stick to the traditional way of um, getting those high fidelity 3D scans from a shop or you can just take a lot of pictures and kind of like make them from I don't know some of those like traditional 3D scanning photo Brumi apps or something so yeah I think that's kind of it for me for this kind of quick walkthrough of this nifty needle new application hopefully they, they continue updating it and um and yeah just maybe the features will just get better down the road thanks for watching and see ya